Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to present our topic, search to specify tensor decomposition for unreleased data. My name is Ximing from HQUST, and this is a joint work with Xueming and Lei. First background. So what is unreleased data? Unreleased data is known as web scale knowledge basis. It contains a set of entities and relations. Generally, it composed of a set of uh, unreal reflex, uh, unreal relation, and an entity. For example, the binary fact, as known as a triplet, is a lipo city. So city, so lipo is a city. And how about a three array fact? Oh, Leonardo Nemo played, spoke in Star Trek One. So it's a three fact. Unary relation data has promoted a set of web scale web applications such as semantic search and question answering, and also recommendation system. Moreover, more than 30% of entities in Freebase involves in the facts with every large two. In investigate the facts with high entities may provide benefits since it usually contains more complex information. We know that the unreleased data is highly incomplete. Thus, how to complete it has been a crucial task. One of them is to predict the missing entities, or we call it link prediction. So here is the question: Who it played checked? Who played Spock in Star Trek One? So we want to predict the missing value, missing value or missing entities. In band models have been proposed to solve this problem. Event models encode the unreleased data into low dimension vector spaces, into relations embeddings and entity embeddings. Then the scoring function utilized to measure whether a fact is real or not. Related work. So how, what is the embedding models on unreleased data? First, translational distance models extend a well-known method to translate from binary to unary, but they are not excessive because translation cannot handle the certain relations. Second, neural network models achieve good performance by limiting deep learning models, but they all introduce an enormous amount of parameters which contract the linear time and space requirement in the unreleased data. And tensor decomposition models have been demonstrated their superiorities from the excessive guarantee and the better empirical performance. What are the um, tensor decomposition models? Uh, N plus one order tensor is utilized to represent facts with a fixed arity M. The element in the tensor set to one represents that the fact is known to exist, otherwise zero. A three order tensor can represent the binary relation data. Generally, different uh, tensor decomposition models differ in the way to decompose X the tensor into the entity embedding and relation embedding. There are main, two main tensor decomposition models adopted in the embedding models. First, CP decomposition, and second, Tucker decomposition. Note that a Tucker decomposition introduces a dense Co-tensor, dense co-tensor. G. Here is the illustration about these two models. So the first is a taco decomposition. This is this is a taco co-tensor, and this is relation embedding and entity embeddings. So co-tensor encoded domain knowledges, and the rest of three, this must complex and simple OE. Is actually the, the variance of CP based, but we also can see that these are all special cases of the attacker. Among the tensor decomposition models, although they achieve uh, a better in, in empirical performance and uh, guarantees, spherical guarantees, but we still found two, two, two problems. The first is data sparsity issue. The unreached data is very sparse, which is difficult for training and learning. 
And this program will be even more versed in tensor decomposition models because the tensor can only repent facts with a specific IOTM. This means that a tensor decomposition models can only learn from part of facts in the knowledge base. Second, over parameter issues. Uh, tensor decomposition models achieve expression capabilities by maintaining a over parameters co-tensor, which not only makes the model inefficient, but also difficult to train. The target co-tensor G requires large mod model complexity, although GATE reduces reduce the complexity to cubic, cubic complexity, but it is still too large. Now, in this work, we target to solve the issues of data sparsity and over parameter in the tensor decomposition models. We want to develop a tensor decomposition models. It can handle the data sparsity and achieve the low uh, model complexity. So how we do that? First, first uh, issue is data sparsity. We propose the segment embeddings and share different embedding paths across everything for the own relation data learning. As in embedding vectors, each row depends on embedding vectors, its relation, and this is entity. For the binary facts, we will only utilize the first two to compute the scored functions. And for the three array fact, we will use the first two plus the third one to compute the scoring functions. Such embedding sharing mechanism can make embeddings learn from the low order information in the high order fact training, but also retains a part of high order specific information. Second, we have an operation to solve the over parameter issues. The CP based tensor decomposition models can be regarded to have spatial forms of Tarkus co-tensor with struct structural sparse constraint. On the binary case, CP-based tensor decomposition models achieve expressive capability and a relatively good empirical performance. This motivates us that it may be unnecessary to learn a co-tensor with an enormous amount of parameters in the enriched data. Thus, we propose to structure sparse Tarkus co-tensor First, we define a candidate diagonal tensors. The tensors, the tensors only have non-zero values in this diagonal. And for each cube, we will select the purple diagonal tensors. So we do we achieve the sparsity. Generally, it is crucial to search for a set of purple sparse co-tensor Z. Uh, Z2 and uh, Z2 means that this is the sparse co-tensor for a factor with RT2 and ZM it means that we, this is sparse co-tensor for a factor with RTM. So such a purple sparse co-tensor that can lead to high performance. And we formalize this problem into a bilevel optimization problem. Generally, we first we take the z, the sparse cotensor as a random variables, and we utilize a disparate distribution on these random variables, parameters by theta. What we try to do is that we want to achieve a probability distribution can output the sparse cotensor with high performance and its corresponding embeddings. So we name it as search to specify tensor decomposition. Um, and also S2S. How we um, optimize this problem? Well, generally, we follow MC sampling to optimize the search objective. So based on a sample called sparse cotensor, we adopt an alternative way to optimize theta and edge. And note that we compute the gradient um, regarding to the um, theta with the a stochastic natural gradient. So here is a summary about our models. First, we achieve extensiveness because we are based on the tensor decomposition models 
and we also provide the proof in the paper. Second, in bench sharing, with the data sparsity issues. Third, the less model complexity achieved by the sparse cotensor. And experimental results, uh, we mainly conduct the experiment on the link prediction. And uh, we utilize a different data set, a data set that only contains band effects and uh, only contains three array or four array effects and uh, contains effects with uh, mixed arrays. And then we utilize the MR and the HT as the regression measurement. So first, the uh, link equity performance on the three array on the four array data set. So about the effectiveness, we can see that tensor decoding models achieve better performance than the translation and the neural network models due to the uh, effectiveness. And among the tensor decoding models, NCP does not introduce a co-tensor to encode the domain knowledge. So its performance is not as good as the Untucker, Gate, and S2S. And about training efficiency, we can find that NCP converge faster due to the lowest model complexity, but its performance is not very good. You see NCP? And the, the conversion rate of the attacker is slowest since it requires the most complexity. And the gate converges much faster than an attacker because it reduces the com complexity of the code tensor. And the convergence of S2S is only slower than that of NCP and faster than gate and attacker due to our sparse code tensor design. And how about the link predict performance on the data set with mixed arrays? Uh, generally, S2S still achieves a faster convergence since it requires less complexity with sparse cotensor. We can see that the neural network models like NIP, Neural Info, Hinge require quite a long time to converge. That is because these two models utilize the complex neural networks for training. And uh, generally, in this paper, we propose two mechanisms. First, the event sharing. Second, is the sparse co tensor. So, for the first part, all tensor decoding models achieve better performance with the embedding sharing mechanism. We can see that NCP, GATE, and S2S achieve the good performance with embed sharing. And we can observe that. So the S2S can achieve outstanding performance by requiring a smaller num a small number of parameters. And the, we also observed gate and untucker requires much larger parameter size to achieve high performance. And their model parameter settings will lead to significant difference in performance. This means that we probably can lead to difficulty in, in practice. This is a reference for this presentation, and that's all. Thanks for listening.